like you've won World Cup overalls as well. Yeah. But you seem to have really figured that one out. While I would be a little bit lower, like nationals, okay, I get fifth. But then on World Champs, my in- entire body <laughs> knows it's now. Oh, carry shoot. I have this like normal I normally run these like ODI bars crash bent them and it was a tiny crash too which I was like you. you know one of those unlucky ones that you just yeah. hit it just right didn't have anything but twin walls in the shed like the rentals put them on couldn't ride my bike for sure S- so stiff yeah like so stiff when in my you said hands. that I was like what and then so I just got the hacksaw out <laughs> cut my twin walls taped no them way. back up and then I'm like oh that's much better like okay. but it was still not as soft as the ODIs so like I don't know to me it just seems like so yeah, much fun to go through that process and it's the same for us like we have so many options and the only thing we're looking for is make the back the bikes as fast as it can be mm-hmm. so we that we don't have to compensate anything we just have to ride as good as we can and the bike's gonna be faster because on the same so that's how we do testing I ride 85% let's say every run try to make full runs with the data and stuff so it's like uh, reproductive so you can see yeah like, so you can be the same can, every time yeah you can see uh, the di- what does the settings change does uh, live with the same commitment same speed and if it goes faster or not and what do I, want to, I wanted to go with this yeah and if your bike with the same commitment is two seconds faster on the two minute track then that's the direction you want to go because you're not trying harder, but the bikes allow you to go, yeah. you know? Yeah, 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 and yeah. And I think, yeah, everybody... But does it affect that. the... Does the bike then change, though, when you go faster? Yeah, for sure. And the faster you go, the, f- the more you have to change your bike because the bike at, uh, let's say, your level, if I take it, I'm going to have fun, blah, blah, blah. but if I push, it's going to be... Too soft. Not too forgivable, yeah, and I'm going to yeah. hit the limit. Yeah. But if you ride my bike, it's going to be the same. To go to the limit of my bike, you'll have to push so hard, let's yeah, say. Yeah. But if you can find the right setting for finals, because you do practice, blah, 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 but finals, you always put more sauce. So do you know then, like, because you're testing at 80%, do you then know what you'd have to do for 100%? Theoretically, yes. Ah, it's always, so that's where the that's art is. That's why it's is. tricky. Okay, because okay, you okay. always bet a little bit yep. on where you go, your pace will be. Yeah. And then you adapt your bike to that. But sometimes you're a little bit off. Like last year, the first race was in Lourdes and we had new suspensions. Like it was working really well, but then we went too optimistic on the settings so we like went like fully raced like super cross bike almost yeah like hydraulic full on like the bike was a rocket but (laughs) I couldn't handle it you know yeah yeah. so by the first minute I was already like struggling with grip yeah and struggling to hold on so uh, by the end I was just like riding like a dumbass yeah and then I lost uh, like I was still so it was still pretty good but I could feel like the time just I was losing time just because the bike was not in phase with what I had to give. It was just too stiff, too rigid, mm. no, but then not forgiving. Sometimes your mechanic, but that's why it's super important to have a good relationship with your mechanic and have a good one because you can most of the time bet right. And then when you race, it feels like home. Then you put like a lot of, commitment of sauce in your riding yeah, and the bike yeah. can take it and then take you further and then that's it it's really hard to get but it's what we're looking for and so what is it like in that then is it is it purely in suspension that setting because you're not gonna then put more on the linkage and more on the, like it would just be yeah. in the compression and rebound basically yeah, there's, there's a lot of things come into play like spokes uh, size spoke tension ah. tires what pressure Damn. inserts or not but mainly it's the suspensions because it's what can you can really feel mm. and what can make the bike go to another level or not and I feel like with Olin's it feels like it will sound pretentious but 
they actually understand what we need yeah and they can deliver that while and i think it's really advantage for the team like we have insane suspension like when you go race settings like it's really stiff but the hydraulic still is smooth let's say but like firm as fuck yeah while the other brands it's like bigger brands bigger production they have way more teams yeah so they are more limited on customizing the things for each guy and then they just kind of do two clicks there two clicks there and I feel like they don't exploit their bike as good as we do yeah so I think they should yeah but they can't because of their sponsors deals whatever it's complicated politics too yeah yeah but I'm really lucky to have specialized and audience uh, in my corner it's so cool to hear that like I guess I've just never because I guess there, there's the nerd in me too of like the mountain bike I never like I've never ridden a factory yeah. downhill bike and you know the last downhill bike I had was an intense M1 no way yeah so this, that's these like, are old school yeah, yeah yeah so that's like that's my reference point okay. the, even when I rode Anton's turbo Levo the other day I was just like this is bullshit how hard I think it's got 38 mil forks on it it's like that's better than my downhill bike yeah. back in the day like you can just there was one there was one section there was like the three last downhill trails that we did and morgan uh sorry ollie was saying he, he he's like oh these are good three good trails that you can really like send it down and then i went just full fucking full send on the thing like trusted the bike and was just like gah, 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 like just smashing <laughs> shit and i was like blown away yeah. by it so like to hear the level that you are taking the testing and the the development and you know carbon weaves and that to me like that's like music to my ears you know it's it's really cool to do that and i feel like the spot got that's why you said like the spot got into a good spot where everybody's fast because also the, the bikes brands got so much better yeah the brands has got a lot of input now and everybody's testing developing new stuff so it's really cool it's not as far as moto like for example uh we don't have the engine we don't have some of the th that those things but we have the rest yeah. and it's really really cool already bluetooth shifting yeah like all that yeah, shit yeah that's bigger actually. does your bike have that now? downhill bike no because yeah, they only make it for like enduro and like the big cassettes like yeah and yeah, downhill yeah. i don't know if we would i don't know they don't make it yet yeah we have still have cables do you think you that will go to it but i think eventually yeah but yeah. i kind of like the cable because i for example on my road bike sometimes i forget to charge oh like, yeah 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 and your and mechanic's I'm, not gonna do that at a world <laughs> yeah, cup though <laughs> no for sure <laughs> yeah but then for every day it's kind of easier like mechanical and it, i don't know i'm a bit of an old school like i said i don't like to change so much sometimes yeah yeah so i'm like yeah the cable works why do we change it you know it's yeah. really cool but i like the cable too we're excited to announce the launch of our new membership site gypsytales.com packed with exclusive content and perks that you won't find anywhere else this is your chance to become a part of the Gypsy Gang. And as a special bonus, if you sign up to an annual membership, you'll be entered into the draw to win our custom-built TC125. Gypsy Gang.